channel and it's me again Rebel and um yeah we're in a different part of my kitchen we're gonna be working on another area um I've got dogs over here eating food you can be here or that Kaden's back there listening to the tv in the living room so I may or may not do a voiceover because it may get kind of loud the dogs are walking around you know so this may be a voiceover thing whenever I go to start decorating. It's not going to be a very long thing because all I'm going to be doing is my microwave top. Um, I decided to go ahead and add some stuff to it. I've already got a tree here. Like I said, lost the footage of me decorating this tree out. But you will see it all whenever I do my house tour. So let's go ahead and let's set this up. Let's jump into it, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and move the camera too, so maybe you can see better. So, see you later. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do a little dusting. Because we live in an old house, and it is dusty and dirty out here, especially being out the country. And it's a never-ending battle to try to keep clean, and usually the dust always wins, because I just give up. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to use is, this is a sheet of wrapping paper. I found this wrapping paper at Walmart this year. And instead of using a placemat, I'm just going to use that on top of my microwave. And it also goes along with the theme throughout the house. I have um, polka dotted ribbon that's in a lot of my arrangement stuff. So it's just, it all fits in together, it all ties together. And this is the tiered tray that I use for Halloween. And I went ahead and used a sheet of that paper to cover the top. And then I used that candy cane ribbon and made a bow. And I just love using tiered trays. Um, since I don't have a lot of space, it kind of makes me feel like I have more space to raise things up. So, and it just gives a nice dimension to things. So, let's see. Oh, yes. This arrangement here. We got these at Walmart vintage style I freaking love it and it looks really good with this polka dot so let's see what's next taking me forever oh yes my snowman I got this last year for Walmart he's a little baker and he has this little gingerbread so cute so I'm gonna set him on top of the tray and He's having trouble standing it up, so apparently the little baker snowman got into the bottle of rum, and I had to send his ass to AA, and now he's finally standing up correctly, so. Or maybe not. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now he's standing up fine. So, the next couple things I want to use are going to be candy. So, this was some leftover Halloween candy, which I thought the green would go perfect with all the the red. Of course, I am trying to do more traditional colors of red and green. Except for the kitchen, I am throwing teal in the kitchen. So, and these cinnamon bears, they are freaking yummy. So, definitely going to put those up on the tray. So, this is pretty much my setup. I did add a few more things at the very end, which you will see the video coming up. So, I hope you liked what you see. I know I'm having a blast decorating. It, it tie it in all my rockabilly stuff. So, yeah, stay tuned. I got another video coming up. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rebel, and we are still decorating. We are still in my kitchen. So now we are going to work on my table. This is my, um, my like, my barstool table. The old-fashioned. It looks like it came out of a soda shop back in the 50s because that's what I like. So, I don't have a lot of space to work on when it comes to this table, but we're going to give it a go. I've got a few decorations set down. I'm going to try and see if anything works together. So, let's jump into this video and see if I can pull this off. Alright, so here we go again. So, we're going to decorate my bar stool table here. And I love this table. I got it uh, from Walmart online. It's called the Soda Shop table I believe or soda shop barstool table stuff like that so it's super fun and it doesn't take up very much space at all since I don't have a lot of space in my kitchen so this is perfect so I'm using this candy dish with some of the Dollar Tree garland and I think the candy dish came from Dollar Tree as well and another one of this snowman this time Billy found me this one 
a few days ago at Walmart. So now I got the complete set of those snowmen. And this one, he's already went to AA. He's uh, standing up great. <laughs> he wasn't into the rum, so he's cool. So I'm adjusting it a little bit so maybe you could see better. This old snow sign I've had forever. I could even tell you where I got it from. It's got to be 17 years old. <laughs> it's, it's been around for a while. And this is a couple of candles I usually keep around the house. Just the LED style flicker candles. So I'm just going to set them inside of that garland and kind of hide the black polka dot. You know, I love polka dot. I don't really want the black polka dot to be seen. So to tie in with the teal, I I've tried to do mostly red and teal in the kitchen. So I have these teal ornaments. So I'm going to try to set them around inside of stuff just to break in some teal. I think I got these from Walmart. It's been several years back. I did a peacock tree and these were some of the ornaments that I had on the peacock tree. So, like I said, it's bringing in some teal. Now that I look at, at that old video, I don't really like it. <laughs> it looks good in person, but on the video, I don't like those snowflakes there. So yeah, this snowflake, it wound up, it did work. I was trying to put it on the table, I just didn't like it. So, um, I wound up sticking it in that snowman arrangement that sits on top of the microwave. And that actually turned out great for that arrangement. It definitely brought in some more teal in that area. Yeah, just put the damn thing away, it ain't gonna work. Just don't... Just, eh. That's why I can't watch myself do these videos. I get disgusted with myself. Because <laughs> I already know it didn't work. <laughs> so I got to do a little bit more adjusting. But this is it. I hope you enjoyed this. And you will see the finished results in a second.